What's going on folks, Ted from Nerd Immersion here, and I wanted to address something that I did see a lot of people getting confused about, uh, contained in the Unearthed Arcana Character Origins, the new playtest for 1 D&D. And it's funny, because this actually already exists in a 5e book, but I feel like people forgot about it. So let's go ahead and take a look. But before I do that, please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. It helps me out quite a bit, and this number ekes ever closer to 100,000, but it has kind of very slowed down in recent months, so I would love to see that number continue to rise. So let's go ahead and take a look at what I'm talking about, and that is tool proficiencies. So if you look right here, it says if you have proficiency with a tool, you can add your proficiency bonus to any ability check you make that uses that tool. Now that's nothing new. That's basically been there since the player's handbook. No problem. If you have proficiency in the skill that's also used with that check, you have advantage on the check too. This functionality means you can benefit from skill proficiency and tool proficiency on the same ability check. Now a lot of people are like, well, what the hell does that even mean? Technically, there's no skill associated with... So I guess the biggest example people will go to is thieves' tools, right? You make your thieves' tools check, and you should probably get to use your dexterity added to your proficiency bonus because you're proficient in thieves' tools. But what ability... There's no ability check for thieves' tools, so some people will say, well, if you're proficient with sleight of hand as well, then in theory, you make that check with advantage. Okay, but that's not a thing that exists, right? Why is this crazy made-up rule? Well, how about the fact that it's been in Xanathar's Guide this whole time? I forgot about it, but let's go ahead and read it because this gives us a little bit more information. So it says, Tools have, some, uh, have more specific applications than skills. The history skill applies to any event in the past. A tool such as a forgery kit is used to fake doc make fake documents and little else. Thus, why would a character who has the opportunity to acquire one or the other want to gain a tool proficiency instead of a skill proficiency? A very important question. To make tool proficiencies more attractive choices for the characters, you can use the methods outlined below. Advantage. If, you use, uh, if the use of a tool and the use of a skill both apply to a check and the character is proficient with the tool and the skill, consider allowing the character to make the check with advantage. This is what we're just talking about, just spelled out much cleaner. This simple benefit can go a long way towards encouraging players to pick up tool proficiencies. In the tool proficiency descriptions that follow, this benefit is expressed as additional insight or something similar, which translates into an increased chance that the check will be successful or be a success. We'll talk about that. Added benefit. In addition, consider giving characters who have both a relevant skill and a relevant tool proficiencies an added benefit on a successful check. This might be in the form of more detailed information or could simulate the effect of a different sort of successful check. For example, a character proficient with the Mason's tools can make a successful wisdom perception check to find a secret door in a stone wall. Not only does the character notice the door's presence, but you decide that the tool proficiency entitles the character to an automatic success on the investigation check to determine how to open the door. I just forgot about this, because there is a lot of cool stuff about tools in here, and seemingly the new focus on how they're going to tie that into stuff in 1 D&D means that we should probably start going back and looking at old stuff. So let's go down and take a look, because it says right here in the tool descriptions that follow... This benefit is expressed as additional insight or something similar. So let's go ahead and look. Okay. Uh, tool descriptions, skills. It says even tool proficiencies provide advantage on a check when used in conjunction with certain skills, provided the character is proficient with the tool and skill. As a DM, you can allow a character to make a check using the indicated skill with advantage. Paragraphs that begin with skill names discuss these possibilities. In each of these paragraphs, the benefits apply only to someone who has proficiency with the tool, not simply someone who owns it. With respect to skills, the system is mildly abstract in terms of what tool proficiency represents. Essentially, it assumes that a character who has proficiency with a tool also has learned about facets of the trade or profession that are not necessarily associated with the use of the tool. In addition, you can consider giving a character extra information or an added benefit. We already talked about that. Okay, so alchemist supplies, okay? We kind of know what they are, right? They enable the character to produce useful concoctions such as acid or alchemist's fire. Look at this, arcana. Proficiency with alchemist supplies allows you to unlock more information on arcana checks involving potion and similar materials. I just forgot about that. So, being having both proficiencies is actually super useful. 
Investigation. When you inspect an area for clues, proficiency with alchemist supplies grants additional insight into any chemicals or substances that might have been used in the area. This is the list that I need printed. This is what we need on a DM screen is this information. Let's keep looking. Brewer supplies. One that's kind of a niche thing, but maybe useful, right? History. Proficiency with brewer supplies gives you additional insight on history checks concerning events that involve alcohol as a significant element. That's probably any festival in any world you've ever been in. Medicine. The tool proficiency grants insight when you treat anyone suffering from alcohol poisoning or what you can use to dull the pain. Or which alcohol to dull pain, rather. Persuasion. A stiff drink can soften even the hardest heart. Your proficiency with brewer supplies can help you ply someone with a drink, giving them just enough alcohol to mellow their mood. What? Let's keep going. I know this book's been out for like five plus years, more than that, but it's still blowing my mind. Let's keep going. Calligrapher supplies, one that probably nobody takes. Arcana. Although calligraphy is of little help in deciphering the content of magical writings, proficiency with these supplies can aid in identifying who wrote a script of magical nature. History. This tool proficiency can augment the benefit of successful checks made to analyze or investigate ancient writings, scrolls, or other texts, including etchings etched in stone or messages on frescoes or other displays. <clears throat> the displays, sorry. Carpenter's Tools. History. The tool proficiency aids you in identifying the use and origin of wooden buildings and other large wooden objects. Investigation. You gain additional insight when inspecting areas with wooden structures because you know tricks of construction that conceal areas from discovery. Perception. You can spot irregularities in wood falls or floor, uh, walls or floors, making it easy to find trap doors and secret passages. This is huge, right? Like, that's so good, but I would never think about that. Stealth. You can quickly access the weak spots in a wooden floor, making it easier to avoid the places that creak and groan when stepped on, right? You can boost your stealth ability as a rogue because you have Carpenter's Tools proficiency. Cartographers. Arcana, History, and Religion. You can use your knowledge of maps and locations to unearth more detail information when you use these skills. For instance, you might spot hidden messages in a map, identify when the map was made, or determine if geographical features have changed since then, and so forth. Cartographer's Tools in Nature. Your familiarity with physical geography makes it easier for you to answer questions or solve issues relating to the terrain around you. Survival. Your understanding of geography makes it easier to find paths to civilization, to predict areas where villages or towns might be found, and to avoid becoming lost. You have studied so many maps that common patterns, such as how trade routes evolve and where settlements arise, are familiar to you. Cobbler's tools, making shoes. Arcana and history. Your knowledge of shoes aids you in identifying the magical properties of enchanted boots or history of such items. Investigation. Uh, foothold, uh, footwear holds a surprising number of secrets. Uh, you can learn when someone who has recently visited by examining the wear and dirt as accumulated on their shoes, your experience in repairing shoes makes it easier for you to identify where damage might come from. Cooks utensils. History. Your knowledge of cooking techniques allows you to assess the social patterns involved in a cultural eating habit, a culture's eating habits. Medicine. You can transform medicine that is bitter or sour into a pleasing concoction. And survival. When foraging for food, you can make uh, do with ingredients you scavenge that others would be able to transform into a nourishing meal. Disguise kit. This one could be huge, right? Deception. A disguise can improve your ability to weave convincing lies, intimidation. The right disguise can make you look more fearsome, whether you want to scare someone away by posing as a plague victim or intimidate a gang of thugs by taking the appearance of a bully. Performance. A cunning disguise can enhance an audience's enjoyment of a performance, provided the disguise is properly designed to evoke the desired reaction. Persuasion. Folks tend to pursue uh, trust a person in uniform. If you disguise yourself as an authority figure, uh, your efforts to persuade people might be more effective. Forgery kit. And Arcana. Really, it seems like if you have any of these sort of paper-based ones, you should be proficient in Arcana. It seems like it's useful. Uh, a forgery kit can be used in conjunction with the Arcana skill to determine if a magic item is real or fake. Deception, a well-crafted forgery such as papers proclaiming to be a noble or writ that grants you safe passage, can lend credence to a lie. History, a uh, forgery kit combined with your knowledge of history improves your ability to create fake historical documents or to tell if a document is authentic. Investigation, when you examine objects, proficiency with a forgery kit is useful for determining how an object was made and whether it's genuine. How about a gaming set? That's one people don't often take. History. Your knowledge of game influences uh, includes your knowledge of history, as well as important events as connected to or prominent historical figures involved with such games. 
insight. Playing games with someone is a good way to understand their personality, granting you better ability to discern their lies from truths and read their mood. And sleight of hand is a useful skill for cheating at a game as it allows you to swap pieces, palm cars, or alter a die roll. Alternatively, engrossing a target in a game by manipulating the components with dexterous movements is a great distraction for pickpocketing. Glass blowers. Arcana history and your knowledge of glass making aids in your example examining of glass objects such as potion bottles or glass items. For instance, you can study how a glass potion bottle has been changed by its contents to help determine the potion's effects. Investigation. When you study an area, uh, your knowledge can aid you with clues include broken glass or glass objects. Herbalism kit and Arcana. Again, Arcana seems to be the one to get with almost any of these. Uh, your knowledge of the nature and use of herbs can add insight to your magical studies that deal with plants and aid your attempt in identifying potions. Investigation. When you inspect an area overgrown with plants, your proficiency can help you pick out details and clues that others might miss. Medicine. Your mastery of herbalism improves your ability to treat illnesses and wounds by augmenting your methods of care with uh, dimensional plants. Nature and survival. When you travel the world, your skill in, the herbalism, may, uh, in herbalism makes it easier to identify plants and spot sources of food. Jeweler's Tools, Arcana once again. Uh, let's see, this insight provide, uh, proves handy when you make Arcana checks related to gems or gem-encrusted items. Investigation, when you inspect jeweled objects, your proficiency with Jeweler's Tools aids you in picking out clues uh, they might hold. Land and Water Vehicles, <laughs> Arcana again. Uh, when you study a magical vehicle, this tool proficiency aids you in uncovering lore, determining how the vehicle operates, or investigation perception. Uh, when you inspect a vehicle for clues or hidden information, your proficiency aids you in noticing things others might miss. Leather working tools. Shocker. Arcana. Your expertise in working with leather grants you added insight when you inspect magic items crafted from leather, such as boots or cloaks. Uh, and you gain added insight when studying leather items or clues related to them as you draw on your knowledge of leather to pick out fine details that others might overlook. Mason's history. Uh, your expertise aids you in identifying a stone building's date of construction and purpose along with who might have built it, investigation, uh, additional insight when expecting areas with stone structures, and perception, you can spot irregularities in stone walls or floors, finding trap doors or secret passages easier, musical instruments, history, your expertise aids you in recalling lore related to your instrument, and performance, your ability to put on a good show is improved when you incorporate an instrument into your act. That's probably one of the base ones, right, is proficiency in a musical instrument and performance always seemed redundant, why would you want both? Well, apparently, it's a self-imposed way to grant yourself advantage on the roll. Navigator's Tools, Survival. A knowledge of Navigator's Tools helps you avoid becoming lost and also grants you insight into the most likely location for roads and settlements. Painter's Supplies, Arcana History of Religion. Your expertise aids you in uncovering lore attached to works of art, uh, magical properties of any paintings, and origins of strange murals found in a dungeon. Investigation and perception. When you inspect a painting, uh, your knowledge of practices behind creating it uh, behind creating it can grant you additional insight. Poisoner's kit. This is another very useful kit. Let's see how this works. Uh, history. Your training with poisons can help you when you try to recall facts about infamous poisonings. Investigation and perception. Your knowledge of poisons has taught you how to handle those substances carefully, giving you an edge when you inspect poison objects, uh, poisoned objects, or to extract clues from events that involve poison. Medicine, when you treat a victim of poison, your knowledge grants you added insight into how best to uh, provide care for your patient. And nature and survival, you know how to basically deal with poisonous plants and animals. Potter's tools, your expertise aids you in identifying ceramic objects, including when they were created and the likely place or culture of their origin. Investigation and perception, your additional insight, again, additional insight when inspecting ceramics, uncovering clues other would overlook by spotting minor irregularities. Smith's tools, Arcana and History, uh, your expertise lends uh, you insight into examining metal objects such as weapons. An investigation, you can spot clues and make deductions that others might overlook when an investigation involves armor, weapons, or metalwork. Uh, and then we have Thieves' Tools. I think it might be one of the last ones. History, <clears throat> which is not what you would think with Thieves' Tools. Your knowledge of traps grants you insight when figuring... Oh, that's awesome! When answering questions about locations that are renowned for their traps. And then Investigation and Perception, you gain additional insight when looking for traps because you've learned a variety of common signs that betray their presence. So if you have proficiency with these tools as a rogue, and then also proficiency with investigation and perception, which more than likely you have one or both, you should, in theory, have advantage on all of your checks to find traps because of the way this mechanic works. Uh, Tinker's Tools. History. You can determine the age and origin of an object, even if you have only a few pieces uh, remaining of the original. 
Investigation, when you inspect a damaged object, you gain knowledge of how it was damaged and how long ago. Weaver's Tools, Arcana and History, your expertise lends you additional insight when examining cloth objects, including cloaks and robes. And Investigation, using your knowledge of this process of creating cloth objects, you can spot clues and make deductions that others would overlook when you examine tapestries, upholstery, clothing, and other woven items. And then the last one here is Woodcarver's Tools, Arcana and History, your expertise... <clears throat> Lend you additional insight when you examine wooden objects such as figurines or arrows. And nature, your knowledge of wooden objects gives you some added insight when you examine trees. So there you go, folks. There is actually a lot of really cool interactions between tools and skills. And to the point made at the start of this video, more often than not, if given the opportunity to take a skill or a tool proficiency, nine times out of ten people would take the skill because it'll have more beneficial useful uh, usefulness on most instances. But I, you know, especially with all of the customizing background features they added in Tasha's that allowed you to swap out like weapon proficiencies for tool proficiencies, now that kind of makes a lot of sense. Like if I'm a rogue or I'm sorry, I'm an elf or a dwarf and I can swap out four or more weapon proficiencies for tools, I might now be able to be self stacking advantage on a variety of different options. And I would also say, players, consider reading up and being knowledgeable about all of these things I just mentioned in case that's applicable to you. And then DMs, the same thing. Look at this as an opportunity to let your players know when they're making their characters. Or if you want to be nice, like, hey, by the way, don't you have proficiency in cobbler's tools? Oh, and your proficiency in arcana? You'd actually have advantage on your check to try to identify these boots or whatever the case may be. This is really cool. It's worded very poorly in the character origin on Arthur Kana, uh, but that's because it already exists and it's well spelled out here in Xanathar's Guide. So yeah, maybe on my continuing Nerd Immersion's Guide to Everything series that I've been on and off on for a while, we'll have to go back and look at Xanathar's and dive further in because we apparently missed a whole bunch of stuff. So anyway, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below, and I will see you all next time.